Hello comic fans, here's Al Grey and it's another one of these videos with a book on the ground which indicates we have to talk about a huge book. I mean just to establish how big this thing here is, the 2000 AD art of Kevin O'Neill, the Apex edition. Um, and uh, it's exactly the same size <coughs> as this book here that I've showed you already in uh, Penelogy 459, um, the 2000 AD Apex edition with art by Brian Bolland, judged read by Bo Brian Bolland. Very unsurprisingly, it sold out real quick, uh, as to be expected. I hope maybe they have already uh, reprinted it. I mean, they would be stupid if they won't. Um, but to tell you the truth, I'm a bit more excited, or was more excited, and still am, about this Kevin O'Neill book, despite the <clears throat> somehow not so exciting cover here. Um, uh, I think they could have chosen a bit better one than this one. I mean, if you look closely at it, uh, it's spectacular as all the art by uh, Kevin O'Neill, but maybe there. I could have chosen something like this here in the inner cover. Um, all the art in this beautiful book here um, stems, or at least uh, the majority, uh, from the collection of Kevin O'Neill, who uh, died before this book uh, has, has been published. So it's a kind of memorial to, to his... Uh, work and craftsmanship and artistry. We have pretty early art by um, Kevin O'Neill in the first part of the book, um, which is very great, um, but <laughs> you s really see the improvement and the increasing uh, craziness of his artwork, not only when he creates a monster like these for uh, this um, short story in the annual from 1978, 2018. Um, and what they did here uh, is that they publish a lot of these short stories as a whole. So you can really read these stories in that format and have big, um, yeah, how do you call this, posters uh, in between with this great coloring here. and. Um, Kevin O'Neill in his heydays in, in, at its peak, and I don't consider these pages uh, his peak, um, we come to these slowly but surely, uh, is just, has just his own um, niche in, in, uh, in, in Comicton. Very probably you know his art from uh, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and um, there he was, or has been, pretty uh, idiosyncratic in his art style, but even more so here in space, uh, with no limitations to um, the rules on, on Mother Earth, and he, he can really go wild uh, with all his um, imaginations, and especially when he's written, uh, when the stories are written by his pal Pat Mills. Um, that was really a match in heaven because Pat Mills really wrote to his uh, strengths and there are plenty of strengths and, and abilities uh, that you can explore here on these pages. And as I flip through, uh, much faster than I want to, uh, through this beautiful book here, we approach um, the part with more nemesis. This is um, the Robusters was one of his first series in 2000 AD, um, followed by the ABC Warriors. What a great cover here! Um, this for the trade. So we have uh, trade covers as well, and posters and uh, stuff like this here, where he. You really can see how oh, this page here was created with all means possible, almost. 
analog means, of course. This book arrived today here and uh, I haven't read it uh, yet, uh, just flipped through the pages. I have I've had read uh, some of the stories before because I own quite a lot of these 2000 AD progs. Uh, we come to them in a minute. So now I can revisit them through this giant format in these uh, scanned uh, facsimiles, um, which is just great. I mean, you can see here uh, what he does with this hatching style, uh, which he uh, improves over the, has improved over the years to <laughs> yeah, this craziness here. This is a wrap around cover for prog number 398 and one of the jewels in my um, 2000 AD prog collection. I mean, don't let you, uh, don't be fooled. This is still a lot bigger than uh, comic book size and printed on this fantastic flimsy old paper, very thin, but it has survived until now. And I always love since I had the uh, since I had this um, prog here. I just cherish this uh, cover. Um, it's a beautiful one, and uh, I mean I like really the cover, uh, the colors here uh, as well. But now we have the huge thing, and can see that here. Obviously, these parts were glued onto the other drawing and how the title was incorporated there and some details that I've never seen before come to the light of day. Great stuff. And like Brian Bolland and many, many other artists, uh, Kevin O'Neill um, drew some um, Judge Dredd stories, but I would say no Judge Dredd looked like Kevin O'Neill. Uh, <laughs> it's a very special um, iteration of um, Judge Dredd here. I am the law. And uh, the story here continued in the next block after that. Uh, this one here, 475. And there you can see the colored page, the original prog. And now here in this facsimile edition will the art and especially the speech bubbles were a lot of work obviously with lots of rewriting and, and stuff. And another cover page here for the Metazoics. Uh, the idea behind this story was uh, yeah, humanity has destroyed itself and what follows was an evolution of metal animals, or robot animals. Um, yeah, pretty bonkers idea, but uh, 2000 AD uh, always has uh, strived on, on this kind of stuff here and made great comics out of these premises, this, these kind of premises. And look uh, at the covers that followed. They're not bad either, or this here. Um, obviously another uh, wraparound cover. I, uh, I probably have this as well in my collection. Um, yeah, you can see all these fine liner, violet fine liner lines to highlight some uh, special parts in, in that uh, drawing here and all the uh, cosmic stuff in the background, which is a bit diminished through these um, textures there. Get, I guess uh, that was done with uh, these foils. And then we make a time jump uh, to Prague 2000. 3012. This has to be much, much later. And you can see how dramatically his style changed. Uh, there will be another follow-up to this book, and I'm very excited about this idea. Uh, 
with um, full Nemesis and Nemesis is my favorite series in 2000 AD of all time. So I was a bit disappointed that uh, there is not more Nemesis in this book, uh, but it's I'm, I'm very excited about the follow-up to, to this book here. Um, we have the origin story, so to speak, of Nemesis in this book here. This was Prague, uh, pretty early Prague from uh, 1980, Prague 167. Um, here the cover and this terror tube story um, leads into this nemesis uh, world and story. We have already Torquemada, Torquemada, uh, the arch enemy of uh, the alien nemesis, the warlock. This crazy world uh, that he draws with. Um, fantastic stuff and here we have Torquemada the God episode. Uh, later stuff here. So uh, I'm pretty curious what other stories they will pull um, and present in the follow-up book uh, to this Apex edition. And we have here some yeah, uh, cover drawing, uh, another cover drawing, Warlock poster, Beautiful colors, yeah. even though you might think that this is very dark and sinister, but hey, the stories around uh, Nemesis and, and Stogmata are pretty sinister um, by nature. And they took this for the back inner cover, like you will see. This looks pretty uh, like uh, his style in the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen to me. Very um, uh, sure of himself and, and very precise. And all its, its freakiness, of course. And what a back in a cover that is here. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful book. Like the Brian Bolland one, I have to say. Great series, uh, and I'm really curious about the next Apex edition. I mean, I'm a bit picky, of course. <laughs> I, I won't buy every um, Apex edition for sure, but uh, when something comes from my heroes like Brian Bolland or Kevin O'Neill, I'm all over it. Like I've proven with this video, thanks for listening and watching, goodbye.